which you have completed in the textbook as well as your classwork. Now we are moving to the part 2 video which is a practical geometry. So we are starting with exercise 4.1, fourth question. Okay, so in the first video, in part 1 video itself, I told you that we will be doing it in the geometry notebook. So what is the geometry notebook? It will be 120 pages and put the long text notebook. So you must be uh, prepared to do this. For this exercise 4.1, constructing the line segment, we need a scale. Instead of scale, I am going to use this x square for measuring the uh, line. And the next thing I am going to use is the compass. Okay. So we will start with the first question. See first question. Construct a line segment using a ruler and a compass. AB is equal to 7.5 centimeter. This is nothing but we are going to start with the line segment. For that we have to take a ruler. Okay. So, keeping the ruler here, which is going to mark a straight line. You need not measure anything, you just draw a line. After drawing the line, you have to take a compass and using a ruler, you have to measure 7.5 centimeter. So, from here I am starting. Exactly 7.5. So after measuring, using a pencil, keep your figure here and keep a dot. Mark this one as A. Okay? So you can small, draw a small line like this and write it as A. So, from the marked point, you have to keep the compass pointer and draw a arc. Do you understand? So, where the point cuts the line, this will be point B. So, from A to B, it is 7.5 centimeter. So, construct a line segment using a ruler and a compass measuring AB is equal to 7.5 cm. What is the first step? You have to draw a line and you have to keep a finger and mark this one as A. Then, using a compass and a ruler, you have to measure 7.5 cm, keeping the end, compass end with A and draw an R. So, the point where it cuts the line will be called as B. So, AB is equal to 7.5 centimeter. So, this is what the practical geometry. So, now I will tell you how to write. See, for example, this is your geometry notebook. Leave the first page. Go to the second page. So, you have to start with the date, heading, practical geometry, chapter, then exercise number 4.1, question number. You have to draw a margin. After drawing margin, you have to write two-side margin. It should not be a four-sided margin. It should be two-side margin. So, write a question number here. Then write a question here. And you have to do the practical work here using the commas and the ruler here. So, this side you have to write the construction. So, here also you have to draw the margin and write the construction. So, construction it is in page number 68. I am writing it here. Please note it down. Construction it is in page number 68. Example 4.1 it is given no. So, you just need to change the in that the example they have given See here, page number 68, in the example it is given, PQ is equal to 5.5 cm. You have to change this as AB is equal to 7.5 cm. And wherever the, uh, the number uh, for 5.5 is given, you have to change it as 7.5 cm. We'll go to the next question. 
person told you second question C D is equal to 3.6 centimeter. The same thing we have to do. First, I'm going to use my scale. That is the ruler. Keeping the scale here, you have to draw a line. Without mentioning anything, you have to draw a line. What is the next step? Keep one finger here and mark this one. What is given here? C. Okay. The next step is you have to take your compass and the ruler. I am going to make a measure 3.6 centimeter. So keeping it in point A should be 3.6. So I have measured 3.6. Where I have to keep this in the point C. I have to draw a So I 
this one as 90. Now, using a scale, I'm drawing a line. So, I have to join these two. So, this should be N, A, and yes. What I have used here? This one it is very, very important. I is that clear for you? So, for construction, page number 76, you have to write. Is that clear, students? Now, we are moving to the next subdivision. You see the next subdivision. What is the first step? See the question. This number 8, the normal third subdivision. Angle S and C is equal to 145. As I told you, what will be the vertex? M will be the vertex. What is the first step I have to do? I have to keep the ruler here and draw a line without any measurement. Then, what is the second step? Keeping a finger here and marking this one as the vertex point. Yeah. Next, using a protractor, what I have to do? 145 so keeping this on the mark line 190, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 145. So after marking this, you going to keep the ruler here and I am joining the line. Hundred and forty five degree. So this will be yes and this will be C. So S and C measuring hundred and forty five degree. Now we go with the left hand side. So again drawing a line here without any measurement. Keep one finger, mark this as M. Again, keep the protractor here to the mark line. This is very, very important. Please keep it correctly. Okay, the measurement should be correct. 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140 and 145. So, I mark here. Now, I'm using a ruler. Joining these two lines. Right hand side. 
like this. The practical geometry, all the drawing session, everything in the right hand side, and your construction will be in the left hand side. Is that clear for you? So, uh, instruction um, clip also will be there in the beginning of the video. Please uh, see that carefully and write neatly and submit your notebook in the school office on Monday. Thank you, students. Stay home, stay safe.